the Miami Dolphins failed to make the playoffs for the fifth year in a row and fired their head coach despite having back-to-back -back winning seasons. They still had some great performances from the guys on the field that really helped them turn around a year that saw them lose seven of their first eight contests. Without a lot of these guys, Miami certainly wouldn't have been fighting for an opportunity to make the postseason with just two weeks left in the regular season. It's a good time to reflect on those who were the most impressive Dolphins during the 2021 season. Jalen Waddell. What can you say about Waddell that hasn't already been said? He set the NFL record for receptions in a season by a rookie and set the Dolphins record for receiving yards in a season by a rookie. Everything Waddle did made life easier on Tua Tungavailoa and the rest of the offense. I'm pretty confident in saying that without Waddle, this offense would have been the worst in the league by far. Javon Holland. Like Waddle, it's hard to not be impressed by what Holland did as a rookie. His numbers didn't jump off the page, but his impact was felt all over the field. Waddle played in 16 games, totaling 69 total tackles, 10 passes defended, 7 quarterback hits, 3 fumble recoveries, 2.5 sacks, and 2 interceptions. Holland's ceiling is so high after just one season. Zach Sealer. Sealer was one of the most underrated players in football this season. He was playing well against the run and was a disruptor in the middle against the pass. The 26-year-old played in all 17 games, recording a career-high 62 total tackles, three quarterback hits, three passes defended, two sacks, two fumble recoveries, and one forced fumble. Of all interior defenders, Sealer was the fourth best, according to Pro Football. Emmanuel Ogba. Ogba impacted nearly every game this season in one form or another. He played all 17 games and finished the season with 41 total tackles, a career-high 24 quarterback hits, a career-high 12 passes defended, 9 sacks, 1 forced fumble, and 1 fumble recovery. He's set to be a free agent this offseason, and the Dolphins can't afford to lose him at this point.